I, I, I became CAO okay. in 2003. Okay. Um, and you were CAO all throughout uh, until a year ago? Until January okay. 2013. Okay. Um, and I noted that your salary went up almost 80% in that time period. Um, how, now who would determine your in, increases? In which time period? The 10 years. In the 10 years? Yeah. Who would have determined your salary increases? As CAO, mm -hmm. my salary is one of the positions identified on the salary grid mm -hmm. that's approved by our board. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go to January 2013 and the day that nobody can talk about. Uh, but actually, some people did talk about it. And from what I understand from some of the directors on the board, you retired. Um, and I have this confirmed. And you were put on contract that very same day. Mm -hmm. You're, is that accurate? That's correct. Okay, you went from CAO to CEO. Although I had said to Catherine the year before, you were reflected as CEO. So I couldn't, I was very confused because on the Sunshine List it said you were actually CEO. So when did you actually become CEO? In January of 2013. So are you collecting a pension? Your yes. Pension. Okay, and that would be at 70% of your rate? Well, you've probably done your research. Yeah. You, you know what? I, we're in Omers. Everybody knows we're in Omers. So what do you say to those who say you're double dipping? Well, I, I, I don't know what the issue is. I guess if somebody accused me or, or made an allegation there was something wrong with that, mm -hmm. I would say I contributed mm -hmm. to a pension plan for mm -hmm. 35 years. Mm -hmm. um, I actually waited for two years mm -hmm. after I was eligible mm -hmm. to decide that I probably should mm -hmm. be taking steps to collect that pension. Okay. I don't know how long I'm going to live. Yeah. I've been contributing to it for a long time. I'm you? eligible to receive it. How old are you? I'm 62. Okay. Just curious. Here. Mm -hmm. so I think Omers, quite rightly, mm -hmm. has a policy that says you cannot start to accept a pension mm -hmm. unless you retire. Yeah. The board knows that. Mm -hmm. The board received my request mm -hmm. that I would really like to stay here, mm -hmm. but I would like to retire. Did you I would that? like to start receiving my pension, okay. and I can't do that unless mm -hmm. I retire. Um, so my option would be, mm -hmm. do I leave here mm -hmm. and work somewhere else? Mm -hmm. The first thing I did was check with Omers. Mm -hmm. and see if they had any issue with you retiring and continuing to work. Yeah. They don't. Well, they does. say it's up to the employer. Okay. The one rule they have is you can't retire, start accepting an owner's pension, mm -hmm. and then be enrolled in the plan. Okay. That wasn't an issue for me because yeah. I had already mm -hmm. achieved the maximum contributions. Mm -hmm. So I simply said to the board, I'd like to continue to work for a few years. Mm -hmm. Would you be content to have me continue to work on contract, mm -hmm. knowing that I have officially retired yeah. and started to collect that pension? Yeah. They said, yes. Okay. One of the major considerations for me is, in this business, we have a municipal election. I could have a big change in the board. Mm -hmm. Maybe they would decide they don't want me. Mm -hmm. In the situation I'm in now, working under contract, mm -hmm it's a lot easier for them to terminate me than it was previously. How many years contract is it? It's a three-year contract three years. with an option for a two-year renewal two years. at our mutual agreement. Okay. 